Good morning to you. Good morning to you. So, today I want to talk about something that I am excited, 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 excited to finally take them out of the box. They're sitting back there. So, Fitville reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review their shoes. And I know that sounds weird, but you know that I've started working out since I've been back. I have not missed a day except for yesterday, but I ended up getting my booster shot when I was at the doctor. I didn't plan on it. They just said they'd give it to me. So that was Thursday. So yesterday I wasn't feeling my best. So it's the only day since I've been back that I've missed either gym time or walking by the lake. And I'm going to show you the condition of my tennis shoes that I've been wearing, wore them all across my cross country excursion. And it's basically what I've been wearing every day, <laughs> but I'll show you the condition of them. So these are the shoes I have been wearing daily, cross country, they're all worn out. And I have been meaning to get a new pair of shoes. And do you see how wide my feet are? Do you remember, so if you're around my age, 56, that Back in the day when you would go shopping for shoes, even just at like a normal you know, shoe store or regular store, they would come in like regular and wide, but now they pretty much just come in regular. They don't have an option of wide. And I have a wide foot. And same with my daughter, Jessie, she has bunions. So, well, she had surgery on them, but, um, and I've had plantar fasciitis if you've had that, you know what I'm talking about, how painful it is, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. Um, and it feels like it'll never go away, but these shoes come in wide and extra wide, and that's what I got mine in. So when I put the shoe on, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like this is how shoes are supposed to fit. And I know I sound excited over shoes, but when you have been wearing shoes, and that's why I've kept these for so long because I broke them in and like my, the wideness of my foot, I think just stretched them out, but now they're old and broken down basically. But I'm gonna show you these shoes and I can't wait to wear them. Okay, let me, let me show you, come on. I have been waiting to open these so I can start wearing them. So, and they come beautifully packaged. Okay, I'll show you this one first. They come in their own little case. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. But look at this. I put this shoe on and I just didn't want to take it off. And it comes with this inside. And it also comes in recycled packaging, which I appreciate. Uh, so yeah, so these are what I'm gonna wear to work out and to the gym. And look at how much support that has. I will put these on and show you, and then I will put these on. Comes with that. And again, just how beautiful that they are packaged. And this is a walking shoe. And I am going to be wearing these for working. You know, I got a new job as an esthetician and I wear scrubs, black scrubs. So these will be perfect, like the color. And again, tried these on. And just when you're standing on your feet all day, and again, when you have wide feet, and this is like stretchy fabric, that it makes such a difference. So I'm gonna try these on and show you what they look like. These are a game changer. Just even putting them on, <laughs> look at that. They are so comfortable. And like I said, if you have wide feet, which I do, I can't believe once you put on a pair of shoes that actually fit you correctly, what you know, you don't know what you've been missing until you actually have shoes that fit correctly. Because I've just been buying like regular shoes because there was no option for wide shoes. 
So now that I have a pair that they are so comfortable. And again, I know I sound really excited about shoes, but I actually am. You know, when you're on your feet all day and I'm working out and everything like that. So now let's try the walking shoes on. Here are the walking shoes. And again, the support there. And this material is stretchy and they feel amazing. And like I said, these are what I'm gonna wear with my scrubs when I'm working. And plus, they're walking shoes. And if you know Minnesota, oh, oops, I got two different socks on. <laughs> Par for the course for me. Um, that in Minnesota, we have a lot of lakes here. And one of the things that we love to do is walk around the lake. And I happen to actually be living by a lake right now. And so that's what we like to do. Well, when it's not raining, because it's warm here today, I'm just gonna turn this around, but it's gonna rain again. It was storming this morning when I woke up. And so it's warm today, but rainy. So, uh, but again, just like walking on a cloud and that your foot isn't squished in there. So if you have wide feet, like I do, or bunions, they help with plantar fasciitis, diabetes, other things. I'll show you some of their, um, what they have on their website uh, so that you can see like more in detail about the shoes. but I'm excited to wear these to the gym and to work and to walking <laughs> and be able to get rid of those old ones that I just broke in and they just stretch to my width of my foot instead of actually being the width of my foot. So, all right, well, I am gonna go get an oil change. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna wear my new tennis shoes. I'll show you that there. And yeah, let's go. You helped me with the gas before, knowing that I only needed to use the regular gas in my rig here. So it costs $99, well, pretty much 199 something, but I got a $10 off coupon that I found online to change my oil at Valvoline because they have the underneath bays. So it's one of the only places I can take it to other than doing it myself, which I will once it gets nice out here in Minnesota. But let me know, I've been getting the max efficiency uh, synthetic oil. So let me know if there's a difference because I noticed like the regular one is only like $48 and then there's a medium one and then there's the max one. And I'm sure somebody talked me into it. Actually, the old owner had gone to Valvoline because he had a thing on there. So he was using that. Again, he's the one that told me to use the medium gas too. So let me know if you know what kind of oil I should use in this. If the max one is what I should use, then that's what I'll keep using. But if I don't have to pay so much, then I'll use that one. Thanks. Okay, going into the gym now, testing out my new shoes. Good morning and happy Sunday. So I'm in the Hyundai. My plan is uh, when I get to park, I will be driving the Hyundai during the day because to save money on gas. <laughs> and um, so today I am at the St. Paul 
caves and it's called the Lost Souls Tour. So it's like a ghost tour. So St. Paul uh, has caves. <laughs> and I'll show you when I get out. I'm here a little early. But what's funny is, is that when I was in high school, we used to come to the caves to party. <laughs> we would have kegs in there, we would drink in there. And I went to a Catholic school my whole life. Sorry, mom to break it to you now but uh yeah so we used to come down here and there was always graffiti in the caves and it was always dark and it's funny how you know we were never scared it was more intriguing so uh I made an appointment to come to this lost souls cave tour and it said that I can't take video but it said that you can take pictures so what I'll do is I'll take pictures and then um, maybe I'll do voiceover to kind of explain to you what you're seeing and what it's about. So I'm actually kind of excited. It's something I wanted to do for a while and it's a part of town that I never come to. Um, there'd be no reason to really. It's right in downtown St. Paul or just a little bit past. And so yeah, I'm excited. So. Let's go find some lost souls. So this is called the Wabasha Street Caves. And they made these like businesses and restaurants in them. So let's go in and see. Oh, an espresso coffee. first walked in we were in pitch dark and then we were told to sit down and then we started walking through the caves and we found out that these are the only caves left in Minnesota that people can actually go in and that is the entrance to what was a speakeasy now it has tires in it and that is where three mobsters are buried Mobsters hung out here. This is where a ghost called Alice, who actually showed up today, and our guide saw her and another person. That is a basketball hoop that Kevin Garnett used in a commercial, I guess, quite a while ago. This, I'm not sure. He didn't say anything about this, but I thought it was interesting. Then at the end, they showed slides of pictures that people took that had orbs and stuff and other things. So a lot of mobsters, this was known as a mobster hangout, and uh, a lot of mobsters got killed here, and um, yeah, so it was really interesting to hear the background of the caves and all the different things that it was over the years, and it was a good way to spend a rainy, windy, cold afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and it was only $15, so I recommend. This is part of downtown St. Paul. So it's the Twin Cities. I worked downtown St. Paul for many, many, many years. I even worked in that building right there. It's Ecolab now, but there's a law firm in there. So yeah, part of downtown St. Paul. This used to be the Children's Museum. It is now the Church of Scientology, right in downtown St. Paul. There is the Capitol. I've gone on a tour in there before. Maybe I'll take you on one. It's pretty interesting. I was gonna stop at Chipotle and it says, unfortunately, due to short staffing, we are currently digital only. Please order through chipotle.com or on the app. Wow. Well, that was interesting. Um, yeah, it was a nice way to spend an hour on a Sunday. 
and it's dreary and cold here again. So yeah, I'm glad I went. It was only $15. And they also have swing dancing uh, and a big band playing on Thursday nights and you can have drinks. There's a bar there and they said that they have food. It's not like a restaurant. I think they just have like snacks and stuff, but yeah. Uh, and, oh, I just want to let you know for the Fitville shoes, you can use code Tracy 10 for 10% off. I got my kicks on my new kicks on today. These are, I haven't worn anything else since I wear my other ones at the gym where I'm going now and then these and these are gonna be my go-to shoes from now on because they're so comfortable so yeah thanks Fitville for uh having me review them because I am very happy that I found some wide shoes that I can order now okay well I'm gonna end it here and you know what to do go out and make an adventure no matter how big or how small you don't have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that. But if you want to, you can. It's fun. It's good. And go call someone you love. And as Joyce says, tell them that you love them. And don't forget your magic. Your magic. And don't forget to give blood if you can too. Okay. I'll see you in the next one.